Hi everyone, Rick Bray with BT BOCES, and in this video, I'd like to show you how to view the responses for your Google Form. One of the best parts about Google Forms is it makes it very easy to collect data. So how do we look at it? Well, by looking at the Google Form, you'll notice on the top, you have an option for questions and responses. So if I click on responses in this case, I don't have anything there because no one's taken the survey. So let's look at another survey, another Google form that we've sent out. Uh, and there are some responses. First off, it tells me here how many responses I have, 123. Uh, now, there is some data on this and it is a little sensitive, so I'm going to uh, blank out some of the names and answers just for the privacy of those people. But when I click on responses, the first thing again it tells me is I have 123 responses and I have the ability to look at a summary of the responses versus individual responses. I think in most cases the summary view will be the one you want to choose. So the first thing that you cannot really see is that uh, the names of all the people have been listed. Okay, and we go all the way down because there's 123. Great. Now taking off the uh, redacting, uh, I can see what the responses look like. I can see in this case it was a drop down menu. So people chose from options what they wanted to add, uh, choose and it helps me graph and see who's, who's responding where. Uh, and again in this question it was a drop down, drop down, but it's giving drop downs as bar graphs. When it's a multiple choice question it'll give you that as a uh, pie chart so that lets you see what's going on. And then in the case of a short answer question, it lists them just like it did with the names where it gives all the different responses. Okay, let's go back up to the top and take another look at some things here. Uh, so the other way that you can view this is individual responses. If, for example, you wanted to look at a single person's response, when I click on individual, you can see that I am looking at number one of 23. So I can scan through until I find the person I want or uh, there's some other options that are in there. But like I said, in most cases, you're probably gonna wanna go with the summary view because that gives the most broad uh, answers and, and shows what the group is doing as a whole. So there's definitely other ways that you can view these responses. You can view them in a Google Sheet where you can start analyzing them and running some uh, calculations and different analysis methods on it. But I wanted to keep things simple in this video. So as always, if you have questions either on responses or how to do that additional Google Sheet view, please feel free to reach out to Taylor or myself. Uh, and as always, thank you for watching.